Welcome into Oglethorpe Outlook here on the SDH Network. I'm Madison Cruz, and we're going to get you ready for a full weekend of action for the Stormy Petrels. We'll start off with men's soccer. They are coming off a huge 3-0 victory over Covenant College on Tuesday, September 17th. And after the match, I caught up with head coach John Aiken, Dylan Bapst, and Javier Aponte to talk a little bit about how much this win can help them going into the rest of the season. And here's what they had to say. Guys, welcome to Oglethorpe Outlook here on the SDH Network. I'm Madison Cruz. Join with me is head coach of Oglethorpe men's soccer, John Aiken, after a huge 3 nil victory over covenant john how are you feeling right now uh, i'm feeling good to get in the win column um i felt that we've had uh, several games where we should have would have or could have but we didn't and uh, we got it done today against the strong covenant side uh, dylan baps had to assist on the night how do you assess his performance uh yeah uh, baps is great he's a um, natural left footer uh bombs on the left side he probably could have about four assists tonight if some of his teammates could have had a little bit more quality in the box but uh, outstanding overall. He, he's uh, definitely one of our best players. It, it, you said a little bit ago, especially in past episodes, it was just trying to get the offense going. Right. Tonight, you got a couple goals on the board. How does this momentum help moving forward, especially as you head closer to conference play? Yeah, I mean, the, the, we're always a work in progress. You know, we have so many new players. Uh, we're trying to find out what's the best role for them, you know, um, who fits where, uh, what characteristics people have, as well as trying to get them to understand our way and how to play. So uh, we're, we're, we're getting there, we're, we're getting there. And uh, we just kind of go, go back to the training field and uh, try to you know, rehearse the movements and the, the activities that are gonna try to make us better. Being over here on the sideline, taking some photos of you guys, it, it's clear that just everyone on the bench is so vocal. What is it like to have such a vocal leadership presence on off the field as well with that bench? Sure. Um, sometimes our, our, our bench is more talkative than our, uh, the guys on the field, which we're trying to work on uh, with the communication. You know, they're great young men. They're, they're leaders on campus. They're leaders in the community. But sometimes they're a little, uh, a little quiet on the field, and you can't do that. I told them you have to switch, flip a switch. You have to be an animal out there. You have to be a communicator the entire time because, um, you know, a talkative team is a confident team, and we're working on that as well. And moving forward as you guys head into these next couple of games, what did you like from this game and what needs to be fixed in order to see a better result moving forward? Um, I, I felt like we were had lots of opportunities early, which also has happened in other games. We didn't finish any of those uh, before and we finished a couple of them. We still have to get cleaner in the box. Um, you know, finishing is a hard thing to do, but um, we're creating really good opportunities with our movements, but we just have to understand that against better and better teams and you know certainly in the conference tournament and then the knockout format or the NCAA tournament it's going to come down to one moment and we, we can't we can't give these things away we need to take more pride in our work and and finishing opportunities that we worked very very hard to create from our goal mouth to the opposing team's goal. Welcome back to Oglethorpe Outlook here on the SDH Network. I am joined with Dylan Baps after a huge 3-0 victory for Oglethorpe men's soccer. Dylan, on the pitch tonight, what was working for you guys? Um, I think we just had a, we had a formation change tonight. We usually, I mean, we've been playing kind of a traditional just, you know, four back with a 4-3-3 three, three kind of thing, and we kind of switched things up. Uh, kind of allowed me and, you know, our right wing back to kind of get more forward and put more pressure on, on their back line as well as just create more pressure um, in the middle of the field and have an advantage there. So I think that kind of worked in our favor for mm -hmm. sure, and I think that allowed us to get a lot more opportunities, especially in the offensive third as well as just, um, taking some of the pressure off our back line as well, for sure. You had two assists on the night. What mm -hmm. did you see in those plays and what allowed you to progress forward and find the open space? Um, I think again, it just kind of goes back to like um, our formation and it just like them allowing you know me to use what I feel like I'm pretty good at doing is going forward and, and putting a ball in the box. And I think we were just able to, you know, draw them in on one side and, and switch it to the other side, which allowed me to put a lot of early balls in. and. Um, just happened to, you know, find a person in the middle of the field and, you know, pick out my person and, you know, I was you know, fortunate to get, you know, go with two assists. So I was happy about that, for sure. First win of the season for you yeah. guys. How is this win going to help you guys going forward, especially as you all headed to conference play here soon? I think it's tremendous for us. I think that, you know, we've just had a really kind of rough start to the season. I think mm -hmm. that, you know, we had a lot of high expectations coming into the season. It's just not really gone our way so far, mm -hmm. which is, you know, we have a lot of new guys and a lot of new people trying to fit in, you know, and just 
fit into our play style, so I think that that is something that's just kind of taken a little bit of time to kind of get used to. And I think we're finally starting to click and mess with each other, so I think I think this is a pretty big win, especially against you know a top 25 ranked team, um, to kind of get us ready for conference play and to take care of business um, in our conference. So yeah. All right, welcome into Oglethorpe Outlook here on the SDH Network. I'm Madison Cruz, and join with me is Javier Aponte after Oglethorpe men beat Covenant 3-0. Javi, let's talk about it. You got your first goal of the season. How do you feel right now? Um, I feel unreal right now. It was a <laughs> great goal, I think, in my opinion. Um, I was like looking for that run for a while, and then I just put it away on the first chance I got. So really excited, and I think we're going to go forward as a team. So, yeah. You mentioned you were waiting for that pass for a little bit. It seems mm -hmm. like the offense is finally clicking for you guys. What have you guys been working on to see the success you guys did in the offense today? So coach actually talked about it this week. We actually changed our formation mm -hmm. and uh, we went with two strikers. So I was looking in for that run behind yeah. if someone was checking in. And once I got in behind, I just finished the chance I got. <laughs> I mean, it, it seems like everyone is really connecting cohesively finally as the season goes on. How has it been really knowing some of the new guys that you guys have here and then also building back on what you guys did last year? Um, I think we've all been getting like getting along really great. Um, all the new guys like got really close with all the old yeah. guys. Everyone's like meshing together. Even all the younger guys, old guys, doesn't really matter. Everybody's really meshing together. So I really like how this team is. Now moving forward, a win like this, how does it help you guys build on more momentum as you guys head closer into conference play? Um, I think this win is huge for our momentum. Um, as long as we carry it over into our next game, yeah. um, I think we'll be set for conference and ready to get more points in conference. The Stormy Petrels are on the road to face Maryville College tonight at 5.30 p.m. in Maryville, Tennessee. Make sure you get all of the news and the notes on gopetrels.com to make sure you can watch the match. You can look at the live stats and get ready for this great matchup tonight. Thank you so much for listening to the Oglethorpe Outlook, and we will be right back later on this week for the women's show as well.